This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we are given a string as an input and we have to generate all possible substrings of length greater than or equal to 2 and our task is to print the number of substrings which has no vowels in it. So for the sample input 1 our expected output is 3. So let us see how we are getting the value 3. So first let us generate all possible substrings of length 2 for the string apple. So the first string would be AP and the next substring would be PP and then the third substring would be PL and then the last would be LE. So the first substring is AP and then PP, PL and LE. Now let us generate all possible substrings of length 3. So the first substring would be APP and then the second substring would be PPL and the next would be PLE and we can't generate a substring of length more than this. So the first was APP and then PPL and then PLE. Now if we start from L there is only two characters so we can't form a substring of length 3. So these are all the substrings which are of length 3. Now let us generate the substrings of length 4. So the first substring would be APPL. So APPL and then PPLE. So after this we can't generate a substring of length 4. And then the last is the string itself. Now these are all the substrings of length greater than or equal to 2 for the string apple. Now we have to count the number of substrings which has no vowels in it. So in the first line the substrings PP and PL has no vowels in it. So the remaining two strings has E here and this string has A. So only PP and PL has no vowels in it. And in the next line so here there is a vowel and this string has no vowels in it and then this string also has a vowel so it has e in it and then in the next line here there is a and here there is e and then here we have both a and e there are only three substrings which has no vowels in it so we are printing our output as 3 now let us see how to write a c program for this so first i am creating a function named is vowel this function accepts a character in its arguments and returns 1 if the character is vowel or else this function returns 0. So in the function first I am converting the character into a lower case and then if the character is equal to either a, e, i, o or u then I am returning 1 or else I am returning 0. So this is how this function works. Now let us start with our main function. So first I am creating a character array named str and in the next line I am accepting the input in string format and storing it into the character array str and then I am creating two integer variables named count and len. In the integer variable count I am initially assigning 0. So we will be using this integer variable count to count the number of substrings which has no vowels. So our final output result will be stored in this variable. And in the integer variable len, I am storing the string length of str. Now we have to generate all possible substrings for the string str. So to do that, I am creating a nested loop. The first loop iterates from 1 till len, and the second loop iterates from 0 till len minus i. So let us see this with the example. Let us take the string apple itself. Now if we want to form substrings of length 2, then the last substring of length 2 will be LE. So we start from L. We can't start from E and form a substring of length 2 because there are no more characters in the right. So the last starting position for the substring of length 2 is L. The position of L is 0, 1, 2, 3. So here the length of the string is 5. Initial value of i is 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4 and here we have used less than operator. So we will iterate only till 3. 
So this is the reason why we are iterating from 0 till len minus i. So the value of j is just the starting position. The actual substring will be present from j till j plus i. So the k loop iterates from j till j plus i. And here we are using less than or equal to condition. So this is the reason why we are starting our i loop from 1. Because we are using the less than or equal to condition. So if we print from j to j plus i, then there will be two characters printed. So now our task is to calculate the number of substrings which has no vowels in it. So in every iteration of this j loop, I am creating a new integer variable named flag and I am setting its value to 0 and the substring will be present from j till j plus i. So the k loop iterates from j till j plus i and if any of the character from j till j plus i is vowel, then I am setting the value of flag is equal to 1. So to check whether the character is a vowel or not, I am using the function is vowel, which we have already seen how it was implemented. So after the execution of this k loop, if the value of flag is equal to 0, then it means that the substring has no vowels in it. So we are incrementing the value of count. And finally, after execution of all the loops, I am printing the value of count. So let us now check our program with sample test cases. So now I have given the sample input 1 and our expected output is 3. So we also get 3 as our output. And now I have given the sample input 2 and our expected output is 5. So we also get 5 as our output. So this is the logic behind today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching.